Jeffrey here from Comfort of Bible Reading. Now this is the commandment, and these are the statutes and judgments which the Lord your God has commanded to teach you, that you may observe them in the land which you are crossing over to possess, that you may fear the Lord your God to keep all his statutes and his commandments, which I command you, you and your sons and your generations, all the days of your your life and that your days may be prolonged. Hear Israel and be careful to obey so that it may go well with you and that you may increase greatly in the land flowing with milk and honey, just as the Lord, the God of your ancestors, promised you. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. These commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Tie them as symbols on your hands and bind them on your foreheads. Write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates. When the Lord your God brings you into the land, he swore to your father, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to give you a land with large flourishing cities you did not build houses filled with all kinds of good things you did not provide wells you did not dig and vineyards and olive groves you did not plant then when you eat and are satisfied be careful that you do not forget the Lord who brought you out of Egypt out of the land of slavery fear the Lord your God serve him only and take your oaths in his name. Do not follow other gods, the gods of the peoples around you. For the Lord your God, who is among you, is a jealous God, and his anger will burn against you, and he will destroy you from the face of the land. Do not put the Lord your God to the test as you did at Massa. Be sure to keep the commands of the Lord your God and the stipulations and decree he has given you. Do what is right and good in the Lord's sight, so that it may go well with you, and you may go in and take over the good land the Lord promised on oath to your ancestors, thrusting out all your enemies before you, as the Lord said. In the future, when your sons ask you, what is the meaning of this stipulation, decrees, and and laws the Lord our God has commanded you. Tell him we were slaves of Pharaoh in Egypt, but the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Before our eyes the Lord sent signs and wonders great and terrible on Egypt and Pharaoh and his whole household. But he brought us out from there to bring us in and give us the land he promised on an oath to our ancestors. The Lord commanded us to obey all these decrees and to fear the Lord our God so that he might always prosper and be kept alive, as is the case today. And if we are careful to obey all this law before the Lord our God, as he has commanded us, that will be our righteousness. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. YouTube has picked this video just for you. Thank you all and God bless.